Hello and welcome to another class of AWS. So today in this class we are going to discuss about how to create a load balance set. So in AWS management console, so this is my easy to dashboard. Here we can see whatever instances, host, volumes, key pairs, placement groups, etc. are running. So we have load balancer as a zero. So today we are going to create a load balancer. So here we don't have resources in this region. So we are going to create a load balancer. So we'll, welcome to elastic load balancing. So here we have two type of load balancing. This is preferred for HTTP, HTTPS. Here application load balancer. It makes the routing decisions on this protocols. Whereas this is a classic, classic load balancer. It makes routing uh, decisions at TCP, SSL or application layer and supports either EC2 classic or VPC. Here it supports container instance in VPC. So we can prefer, we can make continue. So for creation of a load balancer, so first of all, the very first step is we need to configure a load balancer. So step one, configure load balancer. Here we have like load balancer name. So I can give name, internet facing or internal. What is the IP address IPv4? Our load balancer protocol HTTP because it support both HTTP, HTTP secure HTTP. Port number is 84, uh, internet traffic. We can add listener also if we want another protocol here. And now for availability, this is my virtual private cloud, which is a default stored over here. Now availability soon, we can select after the begin. Next step, we have to select this. Configure security groups. So here, after configuring security set settings, we have security, we have created this auto scaling and default one and for WordPress. So we have selected the default one security group for routing. Now here we have a target group with the target uh, for routing. We can have specify the target group. We can specify the protocol. We have to apply the health checks if required and we require to define the path with the name. So in advanced health checking traffic port override, we can check our timeout interval and number of success code. So after that, we can register our targets after specifying this route routing. Target one, we need to define this where it is and then we have to register these targets that we have created. And after that, in a review path, we can see this is my load balancer, internet facing. This is a protocol, virtual private number of subnets that we have given and we can create our load balancer. This is how to create a load balancer as per our configurations that we require. And in a review, we can edit anything that 